An international study has found that women who suffer complications from high blood pressure in their first pregnancy are more likely to have diabetes, chronic high blood pressure and blood clots later in life. The findings come from researchers at the Yale School of Medicine in the United States and the University of Copenhagen in Denmark, who studied Danish women who gave birth between 1978 and 2007. They found that women who had two pregnancies, complicated by toxemia, which is characterised by high blood pressure, are at even higher risk of a lifetime of chronic blood pressure, type 2 diabetes and blood clots. Further studies will be conducted to look at the genetic links between pregnancy complications, cardiovascular disease and diabetes. Diabetes Australia New South Wales has welcomed an independent report calling for major health service reform. The National Health and Hospital Reform Commission's interim report, A Healthier Future for All Australians, says more attention must be paid to disease prevention and outlines the potential for a national takeover of health services. The report was commissioned by the federal government and warns, among other things, that within 20 years, spending on type 2 diabetes is likely to increase by 520%. New technology suggests breath testing could one day be used to detect diabetes. Researchers at the University of Texas have found that a standard breath test is able to detect the early stages of the disease. There's been a dramatic increase in the number of people developing diabetes in the United Kingdom. New research shows a 74% increase in new cases of diabetes between 1997 and 2003, duplicating trends in Australia and the United States. American researchers have found that controlling blood glucose levels can improve mental processes. Diabetes has been associated with a decline in cognitive function and the onset of dementia, but the link has not been proven.